السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله Before I start, before I go through the presentation, I want to say um, a couple of things. The topic of this lecture today, or this gathering here, is about Prophet Muhammad And Allah says in the Quran, when I say that the Rahmat al you have heard this first, the Shaykh, mashallah, have talked about it, and we have not sent to you a Prophet Muhammad except as a mercy to the world. So how is this mercy going to reach the world? How is it going to reach our world, the world of our children, the world in the future? It is upon our shoulders. We are the carrying of this message. We carry that message and we deliver that message because that is our job as Muslims. And we owe it to our brothers and sisters who are not Muslims to hear the truth about Islam. And we should make it easy for them. And Allah has given us this in the Quran. ومن أحسن قولا من من دعا الله وعمل صالحا وقال إن المسلمين There is no better speech than the one who called people toward Allah toward God, to worship God and did righteousness so he or her are themselves righteous people you have to first fix yourself be a righteous person understand the religion call people toward God and then Testify to them that I am Muslim. I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah Azza wa Jal. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best to be honored. This is the best With that, I want to ask a question. How many of you here today have a smartphone? Many. And you walk, you go everywhere. Everybody has. How many of you have a window phone? Windows phone? That was from Microsoft. <laughs> How many of you have an Android phone? How many of you has to have a, um, an iPhone? So almost every one of you in this room have access to this app. How many of you have a Windows 8 phone? A Windows 8 uh, um, OS? Windows 8 on the phone? Yeah, just one person. So what I'm going to do today I will demonstrate to you the app, the same content that you will see today of the app that is on Windows 8, on the computer today, is available on Windows Phone, on, I on, on iPhone or iPad, and on any Android, uh, Android uh, power smartphone. So you just search for the title called Concept of Islam, or actually on Windows Phone, if you just search for Islam, you will see that Concept of Islam is the number one app. So far, we reach more than 20,000 people for this app. So people, and there's a, uh, and I'll walk you through this app, and you see the, 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 the um, content that exists in this app. So today, you listen to the shares. They gave us, mashallah, great information about Prophet Muhammad But for those who are not Muslim, you want to learn maybe more about Islam. What is the core of Islam? What are the pillars of Islam? What does the Quran say? You want to learn a little bit more about the Quran, right? So you want this information. This app actually will give you access to those information. Additionally, for those who are Muslim, when you meet and greet other people, you talk to them about Islam, you want to leave them with something. It is hard to be carrying with you maybe a DVD or a book all the time and hand out all these books. Almost everybody today has a smart device. Just point them to this app and you will see there's a lot of information here. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you today, what information exists in this app. So this is the, the Windows 8 interface. And in the Windows 8, Windows 8 store, when you go to the app store, under education, you will find this app called the Concept of Islam. And when you load the Concept of Islam, the first view here, you're seeing the main pillars of Islam. These are static contents. Contents that talk to you and, and give you information about Islam. There's another section here. I'm seeing something different there. Okay, there you go.
So here, what we have, we have content that talks about the basic pillars of Islam. Islam is based on five pillars. So you will see, there's a section here that talks to you about what is Islam. The prayer is one of the pillars of Islam. The articles of faith, what are the articles that we believe in, we believe in, we believe in as Muslims? Charity, giving charity, going to a pilgrimage, fasting, some introduction about Islam and Islam and democracy. So if you click on any of those topics here, it takes you actually to a, um, it's not properly formatted here because of the resolution, but you will see here text that talks about this subject. So you can sit down and you can read, and these are all um, um, texts written by either white Islam or by renowned scholars that describe this information. Additionally, you will see a video here that you can actually watch about this topic. Now, if you go to any of those topics, for example, prayer, you will see also we have a documentary about prayer that talks to you about prayer and that talks about the pillar of Islam and then you can actually scroll down and read about it. Additionally, when you go down to the... The next section here, we have prayer times. So this one will give you actually the actual prayer times to know when is the next time for prayer. But what is interesting here, there is this app. In this app here, you can send questions. So you send your question about Islam, you send a question about anything that you want. This question comes to us, we, ans we answer you almost immediately, like an instant messaging service. As soon as you send a question, my phone actually beeps, and then I can answer that question, <laughs> or the people that are working with me can answer this question. I get a ton of questions from people asking about Islam. Six people converted to Islam by actually going and, 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 and learning about this app and, and sending me questions and being able to get their answers almost um, within 24 hours. Then here we have a section which is explanation of the Quran. We've done more than half of the Quran lectures and then you click on any of the chapter of the Quran. Let's say you're interested in a specific um, uh, verse in the Quran. In chapter 2, let's say you're interested in verse um, 45. So you come to this lecture, which is a lecture that explains the Quran from verse 40 to verse 66. You click on that, it takes you to a section where you will see the actual text, the explanation or the translation of those verses. You can uh, scroll down and up, or you can actually listen to the lecture. I've gone through an explanation of the entire Quran. So far we are today at the story of Prophet Joseph. So the chapter of Joseph. So the last one that was posted yesterday is about the story of Prophet Joseph, which is chapter 12. We've done like lesson two, lesson one and two. Next week we will do lesson three. So every new lesson that comes up, it automatically appears in this app. So you don't have to download anything, you don't have to refresh your app. Everything is loaded on the on the servers in the back end and it appears automatically for you. And then the next section is some interesting videos. Videos about some renowned scholars and you can see here uh, Brother Pasha in this video. And also we have this documentary, The Concept of Islam. And this is the one that I actually take and I have uh, interviewed the both scholars here in, in this documentary and it talks about all the different pillars of Islam. This is how we started. So um, it talks about all the different pillars, you know, the, the, the oneness of God, the beliefs, the article of faith, and all the different pillars of Islam. And it talks about some misconception also with regard to jihad, for example, and women in Islam and stuff like that. So when you click on any one of those topics, it takes you to the video and then you can watch the, this video directly on the app. Next, we have some dynamic contents. So all of these, this lecture that we are taking today, in about a couple of days it will appear on this app. I'll put it as part of these uh, um, videos, and then people will have access to it, and we will broadcast to the um, 20,000 users that are using the app today, and they will get a notification that a new video has been updated, and then they can go and watch it. And last, we have dynamic content. Just like we showed you the static content that talks about the pillars of Islam, these are content that don't change. They, you know, they explain the basic pillars of Islam. But a lot of time, I get a lot of different questions. 
what is fatwa, what is sharia, or certain questions that people ask. So we answer them, and then later I come up with a uh, topic that I think it's valid or it's valuable to add to this application. So I go and I publish it, and immediately as soon as I publish it, it appears on the app as well. So if you learn, you learn about uh, Sharia, you click on this, there is some writing here that talks about the Sharia, and there's a video relating to Sharia that explains what is Sharia to remove some of the misconceptions that people have. So now nobody has any excuse. You have access to a, a sea of information within your fingertips, whether it's on your phone or, or on the computer here. We also have a web app that also shows all these contents as well that you can have access to. Here you will see um, this topic is a very interesting topic which is introducing people to the miracle of Islam, the Quran. So here there's a writing that I made that actually explain the very first five pages of the Quran, which actually explains to you the purpose of life. What is the purpose of Islam? The purpose of our religion. I highly recommend that everybody reads that. And then with that, I have a video that explains also at least the opening chapter of Quran. What is the fact how why we recite this 17 times at least during our prayers every day. So that is what I wanted to show you. You can download this app, it's free of charge. There is no advertising in, in the app. It doesn't bother you. We don't store any information. We don't take anything out of it. We're doing it purely for the sake of God and to share information and to deliver the message that we are required to deliver. So I need your help, the Muslim, to go and deliver this message. When you talk to people, say download this app and you will see a lot of content there. And if you see, you have any feedback, there's a feedback. There's multiple way of giving feedback. One of them is through this question. So you can submit your feedback, and we get the feedback, and we can up, uh, update the app based on the feedback. Yes? Can you remind us uh, the name of the app? The concept of Islam. Concept of Islam. Just search for concept of Islam, and you should find it on any of those platforms. That's all I have for today. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shay. Uh, also, I would like to uh, particularly thank the uh, USA, the uh, University of Washington Tacoma, the Muslim Student Association for hosting uh, this program and for bringing Imam Alameen Abdul Latif from New York and inviting Sheikh Pasha as well as inviting uh, Sheikh Wasim, who came all the way down from uh, uh, Savannah today. And then, uh, awesome weather we had with the traffic. It literally took two hours to get here from the east side. I know I came from Delphi, you came a little further than that. But uh, alhamdulillah, uh, uh, I thank uh, the students uh, for bringing us here, as well as uh, the director who helped them, Kim, I believe the man, uh, uh, gave a shout out to her for her help and her coordination of putting this together. I thank all of you uh, for coming out and braving the, the weather out there and the cold and the traffic and all that. And uh, I also have a request. 